Uh, look at this. Before I go any further, remember those glasses that Inca got to and uh, got some help and got them patched together? Remember those glasses? There they are. Right there. <laughs> so you will not be... Oh, and here's all I found of the lens that was left. That's it. That's it. The only thing I can figure is she ate the rest of it. Can't find it. So you won't be seeing me in those glasses anymore. <laughs> Ever again. So if I get new glasses, hopefully I will. Then, uh, <laughs> until then, I've got contacts. Everybody breathe. But uh, eventually I'll get more cont uh, more glasses. But they won't be those. So all those videos with these glasses, well, they'll have to go as, like, memories from now on. Okay, guys. So listen, I wanted to talk to you about something I figured out today, which was awesome. And I was talking to Jeremy and uh, uh, he was, him and his higher, his pub friends and higher selves were very nice during our conversation to allow me to read vibrations through his physical body and kind of look at the history of uh, the divine masculine and divine feminine here. And it has helped me so much. So I thought I'd share it with you and hopefully it will help somebody out there okay so for anybody who doesn't know about my trauma and you guys I've done a couple videos but it's been very very light wait but it'll tell you enough that I've had a lot of trauma in my life and a great portion of it has been around men so not only do I have trust issues but I've always had uh, repeated really big problems trusting men because uh, yeah because of really bad things so in getting back to 5D, of course, this is a big thing that needs to be uh, fixed. It needs to be rectified. Whoops, too much sun. It's a beautiful sunny day out here. Um, so can you see me? Ah, good enough. So anyway, so I trace the vibrations back because if you don't know this, um, the highest, the biggest reason why women die on this planet is because of men. Uh, the biggest reason that men die on this planet is heart disease. So that's a little bit of information. Of course, I don't need to tell people uh, the history of men and women. Certainly not. And any woman already knows day to day what they have to deal with. So uh, it is my knowingness that in order to get to 5D, we have to correct this undivine masculine and the undivine feminine. So how do we do that whenever uh, men are continuing to do what they're doing and women have no choice but to respond in, in the way that they've been doing? So how do we undo this? So I followed the vibrations down and what I found was in order to take Gaia down to the, the low vibrations of 3D, there were a lot of processes in place. I've told you that I've this before. It's very complex and I'm going to make this this part of it and this is just part of it. But it was a big part. And it's much more complex than this, but this gives you kind of an outline version of how it worked. So in order to get the vibrations down, of course, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine cannot go down to 3D. Absolutely too high for that. So they had to make the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine undivine. So what they did is since Gaia came in as a feminine planet, in order to do this, lowering of vibration she came in as a divine uh a divine feminine energy she can't not uh and then put on place the human beings that came in and started out divine masculine and feminine and then slowly 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 over a very very long time went down to the 3d levels what we would consider undivine uh, energies so what happened is the natural divine masculine is Main, main job is protection. That's, well, that's what its main job what is. So in order to make it undivine, sorry about the wobble, guys. Um, in order to make it undivine, what happened is they set up scenarios, or we set up scenarios, the game is, so that the protection didn't work anymore. So they started being unable to protect the planet, their tribe, their family. And in response to that came fear. 
With the fear growing came the undivine opposite of protection, which is control. And as the fear and control worked together, eventually it got to very violent control. Very, very violent control. And that's how it went down. Now, in the process of the men who are in charge of the, of the, of the planet, because you couldn't put feminine in charge because they'd be tied to Gaia. And it would never become undivine because there's too powerful of a draw. So the, the masculine had to be in charge in order to bring down, to take the, the divine feminine out of into the lower vibrations, had to be the masculine that was put in charge to do that in the duality game. You with me? So the divine masculine was brought on board to start and continue the procedure to take the whole planet down to the lower vibrations because that was the game that was agreed on. So that's how the the divine masculine was brought down the vibrations and then of course they inflicted that in, that onto the feminine, the divine feminine, which put her in fear and now she's out of the divine feminine and operating out of fear as well. And both of those together brought the vibrations on Gaia, with Gaia, down to the lowest vibrations in the third dimension, which is absolute, not divine at all. Very, very low vibrations. Now, in order to get back to 5D, and I'm very, very grateful to Jeremy for letting me do this, because as you guys know, I'm really, really good. I've got all kinds of information up and down, but actually on the planet and how all of this complex thing was created is very it's very complex and it's very hard to sort out so it makes it easier for me to unravel to go back to 5d and the, the higher we go the more the easier it is for me because i already got that data so the higher i raise myself and go to those collectives the easier this game becomes for me but getting out of this very very tangled intricate um, creation of getting it down to these lower vibrations that I am totally not familiar with, don't have experience with, has been very, very challenging for me. So whenever I was able to see that through through that, um, I quickly, very easily saw how it was created and why. Immediately, I, and I, can, I can't even tell you how many times a day I have fought being angry and defensive and afraid of men Anytime I'm around them, I, I've, I have to tweak that all the time, all the time. But in a in a 10 minute conversation with Jeremy and me being able to go through that and see it, it was all completely dismissed. No more pain, no more anger, no more anything against men or women for that matter, because I was able to see the game, why it was done, how it was done and how I can come back out of it now. Now I've got, I can see, I, I can see how it was created. Now I've got to do is turn around and go the other direction. And that's much, much easier to do. Once I've figured it out, now I can come back out. Okay? So I just thought I would let you guys know to see if that would help anybody else in, in any kind of struggle, maybe that has a problem with the divine masculine and feminine. and But you can use the same concept with about anything that took us down to the third dimension, okay? But for me, this was a wonderful gift today, and uh, I feel so much better. It was a big, big hump that I needed to get over, and uh, considering it's a week before I head up northeast for my big, big job, it was perfect timing. I've had a lot of really, really good things happen in preparation for the New Year's Eve thing. Sorry I'm not talking to you guys as much, but yeah, everything's going beautifully and according to plan. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that the whole thing where there was a family conflict, sort of, uh, I'm a creator God, and this is my channel, and from my perspective, I control everything. And what happened was about six months ago, I was alone and, and didn't have anybody to talk to, and I had for quite a few years, almost a decade, been pretty consistently sending a very powerful message out to the universe I want to talk to somebody that culminated in my first video and very very quickly my my channel went from uh, it, it moved to 40 and I was like wow this is cool and I would comment to everybody and my email was out there and I was talking to everybody everything was really comfortable at about 50 
And then it went up to 100, and I started getting stressed. And then it just, I started worrying about it. And what, what, it jumped from 100 to 300 in four weeks or less. And I was trying to answer all the comments, and I was trying to answer all the emails, and I was trying to help everybody as much as I could, and I was getting overwhelmed, and I broke one foot, then I broke the other foot, and then I got really sick. And I went, whoa, 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 can't do this anymore. I want this to stop. When I put that call up and I said, no, 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 I want this to stop, then all of a sudden there was this exchange that happened that put everybody on pause. You see, that was my doing. I did it. I said, whoa, 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 it's too fast. I don't want this to happen. Now, when I send out that call, when you do, unless you're specific, the call is just sent to the universe. The universe handles it however it needs to to get the job done. So I did not mean for uh, this event to happen or this person to say this or this person to say that. What I said was, slow down. I can't do this. And then that slowed everybody down. And I gave very specific how fast I want it to be now. Now, I've had time a month to recuperate. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to take the breaks off altogether because to me, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. It's about the energy ties that we make. If we have 500 people on this channel that get along, that use the non-judgment, that interact with each other, that tie their energy tightly together that is a force one enlightened person i think what it is i would say probably one really connected centered person can do more with a thought and intent and counter a million people that are not centered so i would rather have 500 solid people on my channel and that's it and have everybody working together to strengthen that that energy grid to take us to 5D than have 500,000 people that don't know each other at all. And that is, that's, that's my choice because, well, I'm the one that's doing this, so I get to say. <laughs> so it, how, where it will change down the road, I don't know. But it's important to me, at least I think, that we have a core. And if it goes from 500 to 500,000, I've got the core here and the rest of it can come in off of it and it'll be fine. But I want the core group of you guys to be very strong. I want you to love each other. I want you to accept each other. I want you to give each other support. I don't want you judging each other. Every single one of you found this channel in the middle of huge, huge Google YouTube land for a reason. For a reason. What you do with it is totally up to you. Totally up to you. But I stated an intention very clearly whenever I did this, these videos, and then I tweaked it as I went. So you're all here because you're important to this, this collective that we've, this family collective, this core family collective that we've created. Now what happens after that, maybe we'll be, I told, I sent a message to Jeannie, and I said, no, nah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a, a mom of a family anymore. It's too much responsibility. It's too hard. So I'll be the mom of this core group right here. The coach, the whatever, whatever you guys want. I'll continue to do what I'm doing, whatever the heck that is. But I told her, I said, I want this to go now to being a nation. I want to be a nation. I want to be a founder of a nation. And I came up with a name for it. You guys want to know it? Okay. I want to be the founder of the imagination. Imagination. Imagine, capital I, capital N. Imagination. And then we can go worldwide. So what do you think? Imagination. I love that. And it's so me. It's so me. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So don't be upset about the channel slowing down. I did that on purpose. And let's work it straightening out our lives, energy grid, centering, locking onto each other, find, uh, remember that no matter what, we're all one. No matter what, we're all one. Okay? Everybody's got their strengths that are better than other people, and that's cool. That's the way it was supposed to be. We can't get all of our God selves in these teeny tiny little human bodies and minds. So we have to break it up, share. Share that godly self amongst us all. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to upload this, and then I'm going to go check with Steph. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. I go. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day there, and wherever you are around the world. 
I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.